Science is constantly evolving as new technologies allow us to explore space and our own Earth in ways we never thought possible. In the past few years, there have been some fantastic discoveries that have rocked the world of astronomy and other sciences. These findings have shown us the fantastic and diverse universe we live in. This is truly an exciting time of discovery and exploration. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three exciting discoveries. NASA discovers hidden Kepler-1649c A team of scientists recently discovered an exoplanet orbiting within the habitable zone of its star. This means that this Earth-sized planet sits in an area where it could potentially support liquid water. The team consists of transatlantic scientists working together as they go through old data from Kepler, NASA's space telescope that was retired in 2018. They decided to name this planet Kepler-1649c. The researchers had been searching through old observations to see if anything noteworthy was missed. As it turns out, the algorithm used to sort through the data misidentified this exoplanet and ultimately dismissed it. When scientists reviewed everything by hand, they recognized the signature and realized it was a planet. It is located about 300 light-years from Earth and is more similar in size and temperature than any other exoplanet found by the telescope. They estimate that it receives about 75% of the amount of light from its star as the Earth does from the Sun. However, it orbits a red dwarf, which is known for light flares and can make for a very challenging and dangerous environment on the planet. It could prove difficult for anything to survive there. With Kepler-1649c being only 1.06 times larger than our Earth, it was an exciting find for the team to see such a similar planet as ours among the stars. As researchers are still investigating the exoplanet, there remains much to be discovered. They have calculated an estimate on the temperature, but they don't know what its atmosphere is like, which can ultimately affect temperatures. It is difficult to measure things accurately from such far distances, so they can also be wrong about the size. Their calculations have large margins for error, so everything is mostly speculation at this point. Regardless, scientists are excited to see more rocky planets like this one because it gives them hope of finding other planets with habitable conditions for life. A year on Kepler-1649c is only about 19.5 Earth days because of how closely it orbits its star. It is much closer to its red dwarf than we are to our Sun. Red dwarf suns are commonly found in our galaxy, so scientists are eager to see if there are more planets that they missed. In this exoplanet system, there is another rocky planet of equal size that orbits its star at half the distance that Kepler-1649c does. The researchers explain that these two planets are very similar to how Venus is half the distance to the Sun than Earth is. This solar system is incredibly interesting to scientists, as its data suggests it is very stable. They have found that for every four times the outer planet orbits its star, the inner planet does so nine times. It has nearly exact counts every orbit, which indicates a very stable ratio and history. It is consistent and likely to continue for a long period. Its ratio is nearly perfect, which astronomers call an orbital resonance. Typically, they appear at 2 to 1 or 3 to 2 ratios, not 9 to 4. It is quite rare, which might be the result of a middle planet that they have not yet found. Although they looked for one, it might be too small or at a tilt that the Kepler transit method is unable to pick up. The scientists working through Kepler's data will continue to study this planet's system and look for others that the computer might have missed. Kepler-1649c is just another Earth-sized planet that increases the evidence of potentially habitable rocky planets that can encourage life. Black holes could contain gas tsunamis Since black holes obviously cannot be studied up close and personally, scientists working with NASA created computer simulations to create working models of what the environment in and around black holes resembled. This is in an attempt to understand how they form and work. 
What they discovered with these simulations that they did not expect was the presence of massive, swirling, wave-like structures that resembled huge tsunamis at the mouths of the black holes. After studying these formations, the astrophysicists working on the project believe that they are swirling waves of gas that are on the edges of the black hole's gravitational pull. The swirling gas and space junk surrounding the void is constantly feeding into the gravitational pull and shooting out bright emissions and X-ray projections beyond the gravitational reach, which would ordinarily suck the radiation particles back in. These rays also act as an outflow system that pushes wind out of the emission stream, as well as creating clouds of sorts that hover as dense pockets of gas at the edges of the supermassive black holes. When viewed through the simulation, all of these elements form fast waves of burning hot gas and matter over ten times hotter than the surface of the Sun. The tsunamis appear to be forming in the midst of these wave formations, fed by X-ray emissions and pockets of hot gas periodically rusting from within the black hole the phenomenon that is also present in Earth's weather systems. This study proves that black holes may be more similar to planetary systems and functions than we thought, and also disproves previous theories about the workings of the hot, deep space gas surrounding supermassive black holes. The Supernova Scientist Carl Sagan has said that we humans are made of star stuff, this may sound like a line of poetry, but what he has said has some truth in it. While we may not exactly be made of stars in their entirety, it turns out that elements discovered in the aftermath of the star, scientifically referred to as a supernova, contains just the same stuff found in human bodies, and indeed, the world as a whole. Supernovae are explosions caused when a star larger than the Sun collapses. These explosions carry with them silver, nickel, copper, calcium and iron, amongst other elements found in our own bodies. They are extremely bright and powerful explosions due to producing massive amounts of energy from its core, which causes the star to become extremely hot, eventually the pressure from the core cannot withstand its own gravitational force, causing the star to collapse. Astronomers discovered a supernova explosion from a star larger than the Sun, the S9 2016 APS. It was discovered by scientists at the Center for Astrophysics. Although the SN2016 APS supernova was first spotted in 2016, scientists have been studying it and finding more information about the star itself and the collapse of it. It is the brightest, most energetic and likely biggest supernova ever to be observed, with an explosion strength ten times the energy of most normal-sized supernovas. The research team was able to measure it using the total energy of the explosion and its radiation. They found that the SN2016 APS emitted five times the explosion energy of a typical supernova. They were also able to discover that its mass was 50 to 100 times more than the Sun's. Normal supernovae are typically around 15 times as large as the Sun. Its collapse happened 4 billion light years away. Therefore, Looking at it is much like looking back in time, as it takes all that time for evidence of these explosions to reach the Earth. Scientists suggest that the extraordinary brightness and energy levels may hint at something even more interesting, what is known as a pulsational pair instability supernova. This is when two massive stars merge before exploding, which may explain its unusual size, radiation and light emission. The theory is that two stars combined just before the explosion, causing a notable increase in hydrogen and a mass high enough to trigger the pair instability and therefore the explosion. A follow-up study of SN 2016 APS revealed high levels of hydrogen gas. This is unusual because larger stars tend to lose their hydrogen to powerful stellar winds when becoming supernovae. It is only stars with lower masses that can hold on to their hydrogen because the explosions are not as formidable and therefore allow for more attention. This supernova is the first of many that scientists hope to discover and research, and it is believed that it has opened the pathways to greater discoveries. With their more powerful telescopes, they will be able to find more and more supernovae like this one. Discovering these supernovae are a form of looking back in time, back to the early history of the universe. 
Scientists hope to find even earlier and older supernovae, and they believe that they will. If there's anything we can take away from these discoveries, it's that the world is a surprising and fascinating place. Whether in a field in the middle of New York or the Siberian Arctic, or out in space, there's always something to find out and learn about. Evidence of the past can remind us that much has happened and therefore will happen, but that the universe and the Earth carry on. Whether an unexplained extinction or the collapse of thousands of stars, the universe has survived. The past shows us that a future is possible and we are living in it. Even if much is left to mystery, what we do find out and get to know is exciting and fascinating. And even if we don't always know everything now, someone, somewhere, will one day open the mystery safe of the universe and we'll be able to look back on the once ambiguous history with fresh eyes. But what do you make of these discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and please help this community grow by liking and subscribing to our channel. Thank you for watching.